Fiora. Shulk. She's... Get it together, Shulk. <sighs> we ain't got time to be hanging around here. I don't know what's happened to her, but that was Fiora. No doubt about it. You know what that means? She ain't dead. We gotta get her back. Get her back. Right. We've come too far to give up now. Then we'll go to Mekonis and find Fiora. Just beyond there lies Sword Valley. The Mekon flew in the direction of Galahad Fortress. Fiora may be there. Will you pursue, Shulk? Yes. We will get Fiora back. The entire valley below. The whole thing is its sword. Something seems... unnatural. What do you mean? Look. That flowing light. From the way it glows, it has to be ether. But it looks like it's being... drawn in by something. By the fortress. It should just be up ahead. Father once told me that the Mekonis absorbs the ether of the Bionis and uses it for sustenance. So the Mekonis feeds off ether? Then undoubtedly the ether serves as the Mekon's energy source as well. It looks so big, even from this distance. The fortress must be enormous. Galahad Fortress, the frontline base of the Mekon. The Mekon that attack Bionis must all come from here. Then, there's a high probability that he's there. The golden Mekon that took Fiora. We're about to enter the Mekon stronghold. If there's anyone who wants to turn back now... Shulk, friend should no split up. No leave friend behind. Ricky's scared, but Ricky won't go too. Ricky... He's right. Okay, let's go. Yes. What's that? A supply convoy. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Hey, it's... Dixon! Looks like you lot have been having fun without me. Heard you took care of that faced Mekon. What are you doing here? I got wind of some allied force coming together a few days back. I stepped up as the representative of the Homs. Then a little birdie told me you lot were heading for Galahad Fortress. 
So I thought I'd drop by and say hello. I've got a whole stack of new equipment. Want some? Yeah! I was hoping for some new stuff. Hold it, Ryan. You know it's gonna cost you. You cheap old man. Fiora? You mean Dumban's sister? Yes. So that's why you're all looking so down. I can't believe they're sticking homs into those faced Mekon. Looks like they weren't just eating us. They made Mumkar into one. He was the one who attacked Colony 9. Oh, and there was me thinking he snuffed it in that battle. Aren't you surprised? Did he attack Colony 9? I don't know what drives those mech on. I've given up trying to figure them out. It don't surprise me one bit. <laughs> Still, Munker as well, eh? Things are getting interesting. Sorry? Oh, nothing. It is time for us to return. I would like to continue providing assistance, but my help is required in assembling Homs for the Allied Force. There are also my duties as Seer to consider. Then I'll be off too. You lot should be alright getting Fiora back. In the meantime, we'll be getting ready for battle. Thanks for coming this far. We'll be fine. We can handle ourselves. Galahad Fortress is a key position for the Mekon. You can't just rush in, all guns blazing. Agreed. We will infiltrate via the ether inlets. If I'm right and the Mekon do feed off ether, then we're sure to find some form of influx channel. Our objective is to reach one of those channels. Don't go dying on me, Shulk. I won't. You take care as well. Cheers. Looks like it's just us. Right. We head for the hilt of the sword. Galahad Fortress. Okay. One year on. Now, at last, we will seize our destiny. Isn't that right, Shulk? Another has appeared with the ability to wield the Monado. But why would Zanza release the Monado? He surely knows it would become a double-edged sword. Yet he relinquishes it to that mere child. And a face escaped my control and acted alone. Now that the Monado has been free, it appears the usefulness of the faces has come to an end. Although, perhaps there are still things to be learnt from having them challenge the boy.
Hey, look. Can we get in through there? It looks as though it's unguarded. It should make for a decent entry point. Now's our chance, Dunban. Yes. But don't lower your guard. The Mekon may just be hiding. I've been waiting for you. Munka! How predictable. I knew you were going to come. How could you? How could you do this to your own kind? That ain't got nothing to do with it. I'm just having the time of my life here. Ain't that the point? I even get to take out that annoying Monado brat. Oi, Beardy! You're talking pretty tough there. Don't be so sure you can take us all on by yourself. Come on! <laughs> I ain't that stupid. What's that sound? You scumbag! <laughs> well then, Monado boy. Think you can do it? Can you kill them all? <sighs> I wonder who's inside. Who could it be? Your dad? Your mom? Maybe that special someone. <gasps> Aha! Looks like we have our first contestant. Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. It's just like with Zanza. Shala, look out! Too bad she won't give me much of a fight. Shulk? Everyone, watch out for the green claws and the other one's spears. There's something different about them. You catch on quick, boy! You're right! These weapons are special! They were made especially to decompose you, Homs! And no, wait! Any being from Bionis! How can that be? I don't know about all this technical stuff, but it's something to do with that ether! Ether is like the Bionis blood! The fortress sucks its blood out for us! Then we use it to make this green liquid. You monsters! <laughs> Pretty clever, don't you think? This world suits me just fine, Dunban! Mumka, you're gonna pay! I'm tired of your yapping, Mr. Hero! I'm gonna squish you like a slug! Right here, where we shared such lovely memories! Everything he's done! Where 
is your killer instinct. Now is the time! I hate him, Dunban! For what he did to Fiora and the Emperor! So of course I want to get my revenge! Shulk! <sighs> but... Face Mekon are not like the others. They're people! Like us! Are you really willing to kill another Homs? Yes. Sometimes needs must. <sighs> Even if it's Fiora! What then? When we set out, I wanted to destroy all Mekon! That was my aim. But now, I know that there are people inside. I have to know why. What's the reason for all of this? Why do Bionis and Mekonis have to keep on fighting? I have to find out why! So, that is your fight. Forgive what he's done. And yet, your words, they ring true. I feel their weight. We have to help Fiora now. We'll worry about the rest later. Right. Did you hear that, Munkar? We haven't got time to be playing around with you. You always had to have the last word! Just die! No! Just Don't move! Die. Too far, you fool. They are of surprisingly little use, those visions. Because he could not save his majesty. That was within the margin of fate. It was not Shulk's fault. Hmm. So you side with the boy? Did you find anything out? I did. It is most fascinating, this spear. The green fluid alters and destroys the structure of the ether, which is the building block of life on Bionis. It appears to have been created from ether energy drawn from the blood of the Bionis. Could that explain the ether flowing through Sword Valley? I do not think it is the only reason, but it is too early to draw conclusions. Is there a countermeasure? Creating antibodies is a simple matter. We will be ready. That is good news. Why did you have to include him? You know how he disgusts me. We must respect our elders. Dixon has known him far longer than us. At least he's out of the way. Now we just need to get inside. They're in there. 
Fiora, and the Golden Mechon. Fiora! Shulk! What's up? Did you see something? N no. You did see something. All right. It was the Silver Mechon. Fiora. She's definitely inside the fortress. All right. At least we know what to expect. So, Fiora is inside. I can't let that vision come true. I have to save her. Here's our way in. There's no turning back. We can't let them find us. Let's move. Right. Fiora's in here somewhere. Let's get looking. Keep your eyes peeled. I'm ready for anything. I'll trash any mechon that tries to mess with us. Where are we? Looks like the control room for an ether blast furnace. There, look at that. Hmm. So this is what supplies the Mechon with ether energy. Shulk, what's that? Oh, looks like fun. Ricky, want to ride? We didn't come here to mess about, Furball. Time to bounce on. Hold on. If we can stop that piston, we might be able to shut down the blast furnace. Nice idea. Cut off the Mechon's ether supply. Ricky, say we try! Yeah, but... How are we supposed to stop something that massive? If we can stop the turbines driving the piston, it should work. And the turbines should be nearby. Right. Let's search for them.
Nice one! We did it! This should prevent them from mobilizing any large Mechon squads for now. Hopefully, we've improved the Allied forces' chances. Hold steady, my brother. Friends, here, here! It looks like the door's been unlocked. Nice. Let's get down to the blast furnace. If we're lucky, Fiora might be down there. Shulk, is that? Spear ones! Loads and loads of spear mechon! <gasps> it's Fiora! Stop! Don't you recognize Shulk? Fiora! Fiora, please! Don't you remember us at all? It's no use! Everyone, it's time to retreat! Got it! Understood. Move! Shulk! I think so. What do we do now, Shulk? We ain't gonna last long here. Fiora! Try and remember! It's us! I pity you. Without the power of that sword, I doubt you would ever have made it this far. Apocrypha, activate. <sighs> What is? Ah! Uh. Mate, what's going on? What's happened to the Monado? Look out! Ah! Shulk! I'm... Uh, okay. Shulk, wait right here! this right now how could you she came here to save you do you hear me fiora you must run fiora Fiora, or whoever you are. Please, run. The machine is not under my control. 
not under your control. Is it him? Most surprising. I admit, I never expected such resistance to becoming a fate. Agil. Fiora, what have you done to her? From the moment of their creation, all mech on our mind to control. Should a passenger defy me, I force it to obey. Why make Homs into Mechon? Why are you making them attack Bionis? If you wish to know, you have only to submit yourself to me. All will become clear when you attack Bionis with a new body born of Mechonis. Never! Who would ever submit to you? Forget about him. We have to get out of here. But... But what about Fiora? If we die here today, she will be... She will be lost forever. Choose. I have rendered the Monado useless. You have no hope of victory or escape. <sighs> you chunk of scrap! So it was you who did that to the Monado! The Monado is a tool that regulates the waves of the very ether from which the world is formed. Therefore, it can be counteracted simply by releasing opposing waves. But how can you? The questions end here. Hand over the Monado. After all, it is no longer of use to you. Never! If the Monado really is powerless, then why would you want it for yourself? I will never give it to you. Never! Then make your choice. Be crushed by my fist, or slain by your old friend. I cannot allow this. That boy is at risk. Shulk! Don't let him die! Help Shulk! Help them! Who are you? This is the end. Heir to the Monado. Whoever you are, please lend me your strength. I won't let you do this! Fiora! How dare you defy me! Worthless machine! Fiora! Thank you. No matter how much you yearn for revenge, I will not permit you to have your way. Huh? The Monada? But how? No, stop! Please, survive. Will you die for them? What is this? Uh. Not good! Let's get out of here! Yeah. 
happen. is not possible. It cannot be. The fortress has collapsed? What of Melia? And Shulk. The observation was based solely on long-range intelligence. We cannot be any more specific. Ugh. You don't need to worry about them. But... Take it easy. I've got a pretty good idea where they are. If you're gonna attack, you better do it now. Their fortress ain't completely destroyed. Or do we just sit here and wait to die? Shall I perform the divination ritual now? Forgive me, Seer. That will not be necessary. From now on, we will seize our destiny with our own hands. We don't need to see the future. The Mekon forces are on their way. No doubt about it. I like the look in your eye there, lad. It's time. This is war!